Unit 2, the Earth Spears. Okay, the Spears of the Earth. Let's get into it. And this is part one of a two part video. So, the Hydrosphere. The Hydrosphere deals with the water cycle. And when we deal with the water cycle, uh, we mean all of the bodies of water on Earth. Now, the thing about Earth, or the thing about the bodies of water on Earth, we mean everything like the oceans, the rivers, the streams, everything. Also, water actually makes up 70% of the earth's surface so when we say the hydrosphere once again I want you to think that about all of the bodies of water on earth it consists in all forms okay water in all of its forms oceans rivers glaciers clouds about 70% of the earth's surface is water taking a look at this graphic this is actually a graphic of um, the hydrosphere it goes into the, the concept of the water cycle and the concept of water condensation precipitation water going um, going from gas form to a solid form and how the sun and the earth play a role in that we will get into this concept later but it's just a cool graphic to kind of illustrate the hydrosphere and the fact that it, it it does consist of all the water all the different water types of the face of the earth because you see streams you see oceans, you see um, glaciers and clouds and, and air, okay? So that was a good illustration for that. That brings us to the lithosphere. And the lithosphere consists of all the different landforms that make up the earth. And what we want to think about is land. You and I as people who live on land, we tend to think in our mind that land is the majority of the earth. Well, that, that is not true. Land only makes up about 30% of the earth. So about 30% of the Earth's surface is actually land. And when I say land, I mean things like the continents and islands. And taking a look at this graphic, it will show you. This is an example of what we mean by land, places that human beings live on. It is only about 30% of the Earth's surface is actually made up of land. Now, land makes up the part of the Earth called the lithosphere. And what lithosphere actually means is the Earth's crust. What this graphic shows is the layers of Earth, which we will discuss later. But just kind of quickly getting into it, this is the, the mantle, the middle mantle, and the downward mantle. And we'll get further into the core and all those things that go underneath. But the main thing I want you to understand is that um, land makes up 30% of the Earth's surface, and the lithosphere is what we call land. The third sphere of the earth, and when we say sphere of the earth, we mean part of the earth, uh, is made up of the atmosphere. And the atmosphere, that is all of the air that we breathe. So the air that we breathe is part of the earth's atmosphere, which is a layer of gases. It goes up about 6,000 miles um, above the earth's surface. So if you guys ever watch those space movies and when you see the spaceships actually going into the earth's surface and when everything turns like blue, that is approximately 6,000 miles up. That means that they are, you hear spaceships saying they're entering the Earth's atmosphere and they need, to, um, get the, they need to hit the atmosphere at a certain level, at a certain angle. That is approximately 6,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Now, the composition of the atmosphere is about 78% oxygen. And once again, went too fast on that one. The composition of the atmosphere is about 78% uh, oxygen and 78% uh, nitrogen. 21% oxygen. The composition of the atmosphere is about 78% nitrogen and about 21% oxygen. This graphic gives us a pretty much a, a illustration of the atmosphere. This brings us to the spaceships, satellites. So at about 10,000 kilometers, which is about 6,000 miles up, approximately 6,000 miles up is where we see spacecrafts and satellites. Um, then once we get up, go into about 40 kilometers, which is approximately maybe 800 miles. Um, that is where you see supersonic planes. Then about 600 miles is where you see aircrafts, commercial aircrafts. Uh, people start being able to parachute out around this plate, about this distance. Um, hot air balloons and crop duster planes. 
And once again, the air that we breathe is 78% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 21% oxygen. And that brings us to the biosphere. The thing that I want you to remember about the biosphere, if you think about that word biosphere, biosphere sounds like um, it has the same prefix as biology, which means life. And literally what this means is that life sphere. So this word, the word biosphere literally means life sphere. And just the meaning of the word, if you can break the meaning of the word down, you know what the biosphere is. And the biosphere is, it contains all of the spheres of life. And it is where, I'm sorry, it contains all of the spheres of earth, of the earth. And it's anywhere, any of the spheres of earth that can support life. Anywhere that can support life. And this illustration kind of goes over that point. This illustration shows this point that we see the hydrosphere, which is made of water. The ecosphere, which we'll get into in a little while. The atmosphere, which is the air. And the lithosphere, which is made of land. They are all encompassed either whole or in part by the biosphere. And that just means that all of these, the atmosphere can support life. The lithosphere of land can support life. We know that because we live on land and the hydrosphere can support life. And the definition, once again, for the biosphere is the part of the earth that supports life. So the biosphere is a part of the earth that supports life. And based on, you know, and we've already discussed it with this illustration, the biosphere can be all of the other spheres. All of the other spheres can be included in the biosphere. And this is another graphic that shows how all of the other spheres can be included in the biosphere. We see that this part of the atmosphere, if this circle represents the biosphere, we can see that some of the atmosphere is included in this circle. Some of the hydrosphere or the water and some of the land, the lithosphere, are all included in the biosphere. And what that means is that this part of the atmosphere, this part of the land and this part of the water can support life. So when we discuss the earth system, once again, there are four components of it. It's the air, water, land, and life. The end. This is part one. You will need part two to fill out your notes.